Here are the last moments in the life of the tyrant Saddam Hussein just before he is hung. After the short prayer, a conversation began between Saddam and those who came to witness his execution. In a few seconds, Saddam will be executed. Before he manages to complete his last prayer, the Shiite security guard opens the scaffold. The senior Iraqi official couldn't hold back and called out the names of the leaders whom Saddam persecuted in the past, who today rule Iraq, and ordered Saddam's death immediately without waiting for the end of the holiday of Eid al Adha. These pictures were taken by cell phone. Yesterday's images were taken next to Saddam. Today, you could hear and see what happened there, exactly at the same place where Saddam executed dissidents for many years. Saddam wrote in his will that he would like to be buried in his native village, but this is not how he imagined his funeral. At the dead of night, in a pickup truck, his coffin is driven to the village, and relatives who never knew him did their duty, claimed his body, and made funeral arrangements. They wrapped the coffin in the Iraqi flag and opened the house to mourners. جابوا السيد الرئيس في الساعة ثلاثة ونص ليلا جابوا المحافظ وقوات التحالف وشرطة على أهالي العوجة. A few thousand Sunnis did show up to express their condolences and didn't insist on a lavish ceremony. Saddam was buried here next to his sons Uday and Kusai. It doesn't look like an extravagant grave will be erected anytime soon. The Sunnis' lives are hard in today's Iraq, and it doesn't look like that's what will improve their lives. Iraq continued today with its routine of attacks. The Sunnis are grieving and the Shiites celebrating, and Saddam's enemies, the Kuwaitis, joined them. Throughout the Arab world, the message was clear. And only in the Palestinian Authority was a mock funeral held for the leader who was considered a friend of the Palestinians. Despite that, the picture of Saddam on the gallows, the leader who challenged the U.S., will be remembered as a turning point in the history of the Middle East.